Hello everyone, my name is Joe Fairclow. My amateur radio call is WB2JKJ. I've been a ham since the age of 12. I've been a New York City school teacher since 1978. 1978, I became, I became an English teacher. Why? Because the principal said, you're hired. What can you do? I said, I don't know. What do you want me to do? He says, you want to teach English? He says, and then he says, can you speak English? I said, yeah. Well, I found out that there was very little interest in Dick and Jane and C-Spot. So in 1980, I came out with a curriculum called EDUCOM, Education Through Communication. The idea was to create interest and excitement for children to come to class, rather have them fight to get in rather than fight to get out. And it worked. The language arts curriculum that I wrote uses ham radio to teach. We're not a club situation. We're an actual in-class situation that uses amateur radio daily as the theme for teaching. Now, in my particular case, it was language arts we found that we can do it for just about anybody, and that's what we do today. For the last 42 years, we've worked to get ham radio into classrooms around the country as a theme for teaching, using the program of EDUCOM. If you have students, or if you have, a, in our case, it was what we call special ed students in New York City, that need that little extra something to get them into school learning and excited and happy about it, Ham radio is the way to go. And how can we how can we help? Well, we can help through donated we can help through donated equipment, equipment that will be used in the classroom or passed on, so that the program can continue. Uh, you can call us uh, twenty four seven. We'll work with you. We'll pick the equipment up. Or we'll arrange shipping. We also have as you're seeing, I believe, right now, an amateur radio teachers meeting in Maine where people come out that are teachers that are already hams and that would like to incorporate EDUCOM in their curriculum. So that's one of the events that we have. We also travel to many of the ham fests around the country, such as this one in Florida. Our next one up is Dayton. We'll be there in three spots in the flea market where I hope you come and visit us.